It's like a time skip never even happened. All right, we have to go rectify our mistake now. Our mistake of going into the dungeon a little bit too early, not having the time that we wanted to. Now I have to remember how to do these damn drums. I should just stop trying to play this instrument as drums because I have no idea what I'm doing. Not ever. Never ever. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Back to Snowhead. So the nice thing about this is there's no pretense this time. There's no side quests, no fetch errands, no nothing. That Snowhead. And we're going to be ready to rock. Now, of course, there's one thing we do have to do. We gotta torture that poor giant Goron again, because it's back in time. He's still here, blowing stuff that killed our friend. Nothing we can do about this. Can't skip it. Just gotta watch him suffer again. It's a good thing he falls over, by the way. Out of nowhere, he walked by. Otherwise, I mean, yeah, he would have stopped blowing the wind, but then we still couldn't get past him. He's blocking the ramp. <laughs> See, that's why we didn't do that last time. That exact reason. I even told you it was going to happen, and lo and behold. Oh, there's a fairy back there. I heard it. We, of course, don't have our fairy anymore because we reset. Oh, Boulder almost pushed us off. It's okay, though. Now, here we go. Here we go again on our own. Just pick up a little bit of magic on the way. We're going to go at least halfway up this ramp. All right, we'll stop there. Feeling a little crazy. Uh. Take it slow. No need to be crazy. We're not gonna fly off the ramp. Is this gonna hit me at this size? Oh. Yep. <laughs> Good. We got hit by a tiny snowball and we got knocked over like a bitch. Not a proud day. Alright. We know how this game works. Uh, I'm still one alive. There we go. Now luckily we had barely done anything in the dungeon before we turned back. So it's not like we're really hurting here. There's a wolf, but we don't even care about him. We killed him last time, but why? You will notice though that Tattle, who does not reset, did not bother us this time like she did last time. Nope. <laughs> You know, while we're here, we are going to be looking to do this this cycle, so let's let's do the smart thing. Oh, I don't have any arrows, though. Oh, no. Oh, we had arrows last time. <laughs> well, that's kind of a downer. Maybe there's arrows in these pots out here. This is probably the biggest issue with the time system, by the way. <laughs> It makes sense that you don't keep your consumables, kind of. I mean, you could just have the rupees in your wallet. Your wallet can go through time. It's not clear why your rupees fall out. Well, so too is the problem with the arrows and everything else. But as you've seen, there are two different... Uh, what fairy shards? Whatever they are, the fairy things. There's two different ones in this room that we've seen just kind of hanging out in bubbles. So that's two we already know of. Arrows? No. We're going to see a lot of magic around because, uh, well, oh, arrows, hold on, got it, oh, we're going to see a lot of magic around because we needed to get the spike form, that's the Goron, so they're going to be kind of providing it, 
And yes, I, I could have shot them now that I have arrows, but I didn't want to. Alright, so this behemoth room, last time we got the very first fairy shard, and then we left. Stray fairy, that's what they're called. And we pulled this out, we gotta do that again. Otherwise, that's it. We'll be right back where we were. This does make for very uninteresting television, but it's fine. Yeah, you see how poorly he jumps? By the way, we talked about it earlier, but there's an example. He says. I wonder if this emulator has a fast forward button like CSNES does. That'd be handy in spots like this. Just zoom. Disjointing for viewers, though, so I probably shouldn't do it. Alright, that puts a chest up there and gives us a way to get over to it when we come back to the other part of this room. Some more arrows, though. We're gonna need those. Also, behind the block is the key. Which is important because we had nothing else we could do otherwise. This key essentially means we can go back to that first room with the wolf and go through that door. Let's do this. We don't need the bunny hood right now. We don't use that in dungeons. Though we do love it still. I don't know if I can actually get this shot through here, but we're going to try. Yeah, I can. Hop! See this from this side. Well, I'm wasting arrows now because of the controller, but it's fine. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now we're over here. No arrows. Well. Stick is very sensitive. Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm clearly hitting the pillar and just not seeing it, but that's still rather annoying. Uh, I, but. <laughs> Okay, well, your guess is as good as mine as to what's happening here. <laughs> is this like a reverse lens of truth thing where you can only see the wall with the lens of truth on? Because I'll admit, that doesn't make a bit of goddamn sense. They got me good, though, I have to admit. How about from up here? Will you guys let me do it from up here? Okay, well, that, that that's a bad example. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm actually going to do this because I'm, I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Yep, it is actually a reverse lens of truth thing. See, you could tell I remembered it because I mentioned it kind of offhand. So there must have been something pulling from somewhere. Doesn't make it any less disappointing, mind you. <laughs> or infuriating. But it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We did get the Lens of Truth on the way here, so it's not unprecedented that uh, we would need to use it. This, of course, is annoying because there's ice everywhere. So let's just open this chest and say the hell with the wolf. It's just the compass! There's a chest in this room! There's not a lot that we can do in this room at the moment. Ah, uh, let's not use bombs.
We can do this, however. Looking around here just real quick, I don't think there's anything else we can do in this room at the moment, as we talked about. Um, take some arrows, though. Everything else is encased in ice that we could do here, so let's just go up. This is a spot where, kind of like with the bow and arrow, we're not going to worry too much about stray fairies and the like until after we've gotten the dungeon item. What are you... It's an icicle. Icicle. I want to ride my icicle. Boom. That's good because we have no other way of doing this. We can't jump up on the platforms because there's too much ice in the way. But. Nope, too quickly. Wasted or no. Great. The worst day of my life. <laughs> Didn't even really need to do that one because I don't really care about the rupees, but it's okay. All right, now with that done. Now you'll notice over there. Something very strange. And when we have a look-see, you'll see why. It is kind of begging to be looked at, after all. That was on the other side. We have to open it. Sorry. All right. Numero dos. Four suplets, though. We're not going to go get that rupee. It's not worth our time. We are, however, going to put this on just so we can go BOOM! Babushka! Which is the thing that Gorons say. And we have what we need. Very important. A small key. I also wouldn't mind some arrows if this would be... okay. <laughs> uh, it turns out nobody cares what I want. There we go. That's my jam. We'll take the red ruby since we're jumping right towards the door anyways. Ow. Man. Alright. So this puzzle is going to kind of teach us about some of the mechanics of this particular dungeon. So this way is all encased in ice. Come over here is the Goron, however. Can actually, see this, this kind of gives a little bit. See how it kind of sways from our weight. It's telling us that we can pound it. Now we're going to switch so that we can jump this gap. Now we're going to do it again. I have to be quick about this. I was kind of dilly dallying. Woo! <laughs> it's fine. We made it. Don't even worry about it. This is that path is encased in ice. That would be the easy way to do this room. But you can't. And we come out higher up. So this is that giant room in the middle that we talked about in the last part. Except now we're higher up and we have a ramp to go over. And luckily because there's ice, it kind of slows our acceleration so we can get up to speed here. And we could go running into that, but that would just hurt us. This is also teaching us about rolling over these kind of inclines. Like it's a NASCAR turn, it's all banks and stuff. But if you're not careful, you do what I just did and you bounce off the wall ever so slightly. That kicks you off. But there's this little catching area here. 
Because the mechanic's still brand new, you know? So you're still kind of learning about it. They won't be so kind later on when they have more of these. Oh, you... 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 Oh, we haven't played the song, have we? Oh, no. Not the song. <laughs> yeah, fine, we'll do it real quick. Yep. What? Never before has playing the ocarina been so hard. Yes, please. Yeah, I gotta be safe. Okay. That gives us plenty of time to screw this up more and more and more. I didn't have the pressure of time anymore, so it was really easy. Alright. So if we look around up here. There's this torch up here. Which seems weird. There's also a door we can go. So let's keep it simple. And here we have all sorts of stuff. Nice big chest down there, though. That looks kind of sexy. There's also a lovely little bomb, too. It explodes if you kill it. Personally, I felt like it was worth it. I'm always doing this because it's fun. It doesn't actually help us, but it feels great. Could this be? It's just the map. You know what? In a big place like this, we'll take the map. Also, over here is just the easiest straight ferry of your life. I guess the very first one, the Forest Temple, is probably the easiest, but I mean. That thing was just in the first room sitting there. You could attract it with the mask and move on. So now I've gone in a bit of a circle. Because you'll recognize that staircase. We've been here before. We're also going to try this again from this side now that we're over here. And we're thinking about it. I don't know if this is going to be the angle I need, though. It's going to be kind of tough to get this through. Oops. How about over here? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And that's it for this room. That's number four. We still have 11 more to go. That's quite a bit. And because we've been a little time bit long on videos this week, we're actually going to cut it off here. Next week, I'm going to be going back to the old format because I'll have the luxury of time. Which means I won't have to have these awkward pauses in the middle, or it'll flow a lot better, or I can actually tackle a dungeon and a sit down, or not remember where I am. So that should be exciting. Thank you for watching. These will resume next week, or if you're watching these out of sequence, they'll resume when you click on the next one.